Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera, selamat datang Saudara Hisham Rais ke, Selamat datang Ya, yeah, ke Family Current Show Jadi, nah, hari ni kita nak cakap pasal uh, puasa berbuka dan dan berselera ya <laughs> Boleh tak? Boleh, boleh, boleh okay. Go ahead Okay So, sekarang ni rakyat Malaysia dan juga Muslim ya yeah, Seluruh dunia sekarang ni tengah ada uh, berpuasa uh, uh, Let's talk about uh, Firstly, what did you have for 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 sahur pagi tadi? Well, uh, my favorite sahur is usually usually I don't usually I have sahur, but I don't usually sleep after that and I wake up and have sahur. I continue reading, doing whatever I'm doing. Then by the time it's two three o'clock in the morning, I have something uh, not so heavy, not so light, uh, something that is. Uh, that can sustain me the next 12 13 hours during the day uh, what i had is actually uh, ikan sembilang masa asam uh, belimbing uh, lemak uh, dengan santan kelapa uh, it's a very typically uh, negeri sembilan is my favorite dish uh, sama ada dengan asam belimbing atau uh, with uh, itself Uh, without any other thing or with uh, slightly not too ripe tomatoes. Complicatednya. <laughs> no, no, it, it, no, no. It, 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 it's something that uh, it's, it's Ramadan. It's a very holy man. I mean, one should treat oneself with the best possible dishes around. And I, 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 I do my own food. I cook. So I think I should lay it out A plate for one. <laughs> It's the best possible way, you know? There's a bit of a quandary because in Malaysia, we usually associate bulan Ramadan uh. with a lot of feasting as well. Yeah, we have all this pasar Ramadan, uh. yeah, and then all this fighting about peniaga, peniaga, uh. all these kind of other stories. But what do you think about the intipati or the spiritual aspect of, of bulan puasa, the fight between desire and hunger? I, I, I think... I think uh, This is a very Nusantara culture. Uh, food, uh, religion, and probably it's a bit of sex there. But here in Malaysia, the sex is underground. But let's take about, <laughs> about food and celebration. I have observed Ramadan in Pakistan, in the Middle East, in Iraq, in Lebanon, And to be honest with you, there's nothing compared to the celebration of dishes back here in Kuala Lumpur or in Malaysia per se. I mean, it is almost come to a stage of vulgarity. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure uh, where was God, where was Ramadan. Or it was they almost have forgotten the real journey is actually to felt. To be more spiritual, I think. I mean, if you know uh, Fakir and uh, those Zen Buddhism or the Buddhist monk or the Tok Fakir, uh, <coughs> all these people, they usually go out without food so that to experience another stage of the mind. But that's, I think, the purpose of Ramadan. Uh, tapi kita ni Ramadan ni sajalah nak kenuri kenara. Selalunya orang berpuasa ni boleh hilang sekilo dua kilo. Tapi bulan puasa di Malaysia ni naik tujuh lapan kilo. So that is the stage of of the celebration in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia lah. But has it always been this way? Masa, masa... When I was growing up. When I'm growing up it was... Was it Japanese occupation or the Dutch occupation? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Well, when I was growing up, it's oh no, it's it's just uh, the British is still around. You know? <laughs> no, no, no. It, it it was it was not as uh, as plentiful food as today. Uh, people still have food. Kalau saudara tahu di Kuala Kangsa ada satu budaya. Bulan puasa ni Dia meninggalkan masakan-masakan Secretly Atas tangga tetangga dia Jiran tetangga tau So you Tinggalkan food tu Kuih-kuih manisan-manisan tu 
tinggalkan situ dan you run away lah and they will guess who send and then they send so it was really a, a festival you know so it's 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 not Quranic at all it's it's nothing uh, Middle Eastern about it it has nothing with any of the ayat suci or any of the hadith uh. it's just typically very Melayu <laughs> that's how I describe it so our bulan puasa ni actually specifically we should have picked bulan Ramadan untuk orang Melayu lah <laughs> it should be that way no? and the Islamic part I think in a very small thing a vibration maybe you know? oh. Okay. But uh, I have to say, you know, uh, I think the approach to food also is 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 quite quite spiritual, no? Yes, I mean, I I think if 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 I think um, the approach to food is very spiritual because if you look at food, but because now food is so plentiful, I mean, you look for me, yeah. There's this notion of the halal and haram, yeah. Uh, I always say, makanan ini untuk For me, it's not ditanggung halal. But for me, it's ditanggung sendiri, you know. Because for me, halal and haram, the demarcation line actually, it's not about whether this is halal or haram, whether this is clean, good for the health or not. This is where the the, the Islamic interpretation did not go further. And, you know, for me, I can at any time, I will declare Kentucky Fried Chicken or uh, McDonald's as haram because it's detrimental to the health. The obesity of this planet Earth is a result of uh, <laughs> this uh, fast food. Fast food should just be banned because it's actually that's haram. But of course, it is not stated in the Quranic verses. You know? So this is a... So I think overindulgence in food, mm. I think, is, is really out of order. But what, what one should have, I think, I really like the idea is that always keep oneself hungry or half kenyang, you know, mm. so that you can just taste a bit here and there. But tidak... Terlampau kenyang Saya ingin menjadikan nak tidur eh? So Hisham What will you have For buka puasa nanti? Well I really love To have This is Typically Negeri Sembilan Orang Jelbu Janda pulang The return of my widow <laughs> <laughs> Actually janda pulang I don't know why they call Janda pulang It's actually Air kelapa Haa huh? Air kelapa, bubur tu, dia bubur gula, dia panggil dia janda pulang. <laughs> And maybe if I have a choice, if I can find the market, I would like to have tapai. I think, I think, buka puasa with tapai is just perfect. Just tapai. Well, orang suka berbuka dengan buah kurma. Kita orang Melayu ni berbuka lah dengan air kelapa, tapai. Now it's musim buah, there's durian for you. So it's all there. It's all perfect. Right. But I prefer to have just a small plate of tapai. We have here a small book of tapai. Ah, you got my book. <laughs> <laughs> This is not the tapai. This is just a book of tapai. <laughs> And tell us a little bit. Sekarang ni, uh, these are collection of writings that you had masa dalam uh, of the edge. edge. Tapi sekarang of the edge dah dah tutup. So where will Malaysians get to see more? I am thinking to continue writing and I hope one of these days uh, this uh, publication Zack I Press will publish again <laughs> uh, a continuation of my Tapai adventure because I am now seriously contemplating to map out uh, various <coughs> food from state to state yeah uh, selected well selected mapping it out uh, that is unique in Kedah ke unique in Kelantan ke unique in Johor ke so that people know to have a taste of food I mean I think if there's anything that unite Malaysian, it's not our flag. It's not Negaraku. It's, I think, food. So I think we should take seriously because everybody tastes each other food, but we're still not there yet, you know? Slowly. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Cik Isham. I mean, selamat hari raya. Ay, selamat hari raya nanti ya. Eh, kepada semua penonton. Jangan lupa makan tapai. Ah. Hari raya makan tapai. <laughs> Kalau tak ada tapai, tak jadi raya. Okay, terima kasih. <laughs>